frightening scene on the streets of New York City after a crane cable snapped, sending a massive air conditioning unit plunging nearly 30 stories. Seven people were injured. And ABC's Tom Yamas is at the scene of the accident for us this morning. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. Eyewitnesses say it sounded like an explosion. That piece of equipment, the size of a shipping container. Look where it fell from, 300 feet high above. You can see exactly where it started to fall as it made its path, falling from the sky and hitting the street. This morning, city officials vowing to figure out what caused a crane cable to snap over Midtown Manhattan, dropping a massive four-ton air conditioning unit. The unit smashing into a building as it tumbled 30 stories to the city street. I looked out the window uh, and I saw a plume of smoke. The street was not visible because there was so much smoke. It was like a bomb hit Madison Avenue. Milo Avidane was watching TV in his apartment across the street when the accident happened. He shot this cell phone video. There's cars that are destroyed. I hope nobody's hurt. The crane mishap left a gaping hole in one building office chairs falling out and ending up on the sidewalk. Cars along the street were hit with chunks of debris. We heard an initial crash and then some rapid, almost like firecrackers going off. Two construction workers and eight others suffered non-life-threatening injuries. New York City has a history of deadly crane accidents. In April, a man inspecting part of a crane died when a mechanical failure caused the boom crane to collapse on him. And in 2008, a crane came crashing down, flattening a townhouse and killing seven people. This morning, residents feeling shaken up as crews work to clear the destruction. And just behind me, you can see and hear some of the cleanup and the investigation, which will not be helped today by this bad weather. Robin? All right there. Thank you, Tom.